everyone, welcome to Sweet Pea Sid's Inspirations. My name is Sydney and today we are going to be working on the Pearl Twist Stitch. This is going to be a four row repeat. What you are going to need to know how to do in today's tutorial is how to knit, how to purl, how to purl two together. And when we do the purl two together, we are going to be working back into that first stitch which I will show you how to do that in today's video, but we'll go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start by casting on an even amount of stitches. So you can do as many as you would like, as long as it is an even amount of stitches. Now I will be casting on using the long tail cast on, but I will be doing 12 stitches for today's tutorial. Once you have gotten your even amount of stitches, for the first row repeat, we're going to go ahead and knit straight across. So we are going to be knitting in each of these stitches here. So go ahead and knit each stitch. For row number two, what we're going to be doing is a purl two together, but before we slide our stitches off of our left hand knitting needle, we're going to go back into that first stitch and purl that stitch. So you want to make sure that your working strand of yard is in the front of your work. We're going to go ahead and purl those two stitches together. And then again, we're going to go back into this first stitch here and we're going to purl that stitch. So we will not be decreasing. We are just purling those stitches together and then purl back into the first one, which gives it the purl twist. So again, we're going to go ahead and purl these next two stitches together. But before sliding them off of our knitting needle, we're going to go back into this first stitch and we're going to purl that stitch. Then you can slide them off. So once you have made it to the end of your row, you should still have the same amount of stitches that you have casted on. If you do not, then you might have either accidentally dropped a stitch or maybe accidentally did not purl back into that first stitch and have decreased. So we're just going to go ahead and repeat that. So purl two together, but before sliding them off of our knitting needle, go back into that first stitch and purl that stitch. Once you have made it to the end of row number two, we're going to go ahead and turn our work. And then we will be knitting in each stitch again. So row number three is just a repeat of row number one. So go ahead and purl each stitch. Or not purl, sorry, knit each stitch. And then once you have made it to the end of row number three, 
Row number four is going to be pretty much the exact same thing as row number two, but first we need to offset our stitches a little bit. So the very first stitch we are going to purl that stitch. And then we're going to do the exact same thing that we did in row number two. So we're going to go ahead and purl those two together. But before sliding off our knitting needle, we're going to go ahead and go back into that first stitch and purl that stitch. Let's go ahead and purl those stitches together. But before sliding them off of our knitting needle, we're going to go back into that first stitch and purl that stitch. Go ahead and continue repeating that until you have made it to your very last stitch. And then that stitch you can go ahead and purl. Again, once you have made it to your last stitch, you'll just go ahead and purl that stitch. And those are the four row repeats for the purl twist stitch. You will just go ahead and continue repeating those until your desired length, and then use a knit wise bind off. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a like, share, comment, or subscribe. I do have other tutorials on my channel if you would like to go check those out as well. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.